Oh. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to another loose redo. I'm watching the ball game. That's inside. Sorry. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, or a couple of weeks back, I should say, I did a uh, a flaming yawn dish. I did a different twist on steak au poivre. I remember that. That was for my birthday. Yeah, it was for your birthday. Yes. Thank you. Early in July. And I've been thinking about it ever since. And my wife said to me today, you know what, we should do filet. And I said, you know what, I have an idea. I think we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to do it a little bit different. I want some of the heat on the inside of the meat. Um, as you remember, we did a uh, coffee and peppercorn coating on the filet mignon, uh, which was absolutely delicious. But thinking uh, about it, what I did was I put some garlic, uh, garlic infused oil, I used some soy, I used a little Worcestershire, I put some peppercorn in. Uh, and I used a, a little bit of fresh parsley, um, and I used some chili infused oil um, in this mixture, and I loaded it into an infuser. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to infuse the meat with that mixture. Now because I used the peppercorns and I ground it as finely as I can, uh, you do have to clear the infuser, infuser every little bit, which I have no problem doing. Oh, good. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is coat them Same mixture you get that same taste. Um, oh yeah, man, this is uh, this is real nice. So let me clear it again, just in case. Nice and clear. So what happens when you infuse the meat rather than just giving it a dry rub or well, a wet rub? Well, what's going to happen now is as it cooks, that flavor is going to be cooking on the inside of the meat. So mm -hmm. um, when you cut the meat and you eat in the inside, it's, it's going to be... Really it's just going to all like... Oh, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you can see it squirts out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this now, we are actually going to cut. I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to pop these on the barbecue. Um, so I'll see you in a few minutes. I'll see you outside. Two minutes. All right, we're back. We are going to pop these on a preheated barbecue, which I put a light coating of oil on. Whoops. Just missed that one. And as you may have seen from upstairs, we also have garlic bread. Yes. Um, when this is almost when this is almost done, I'm gonna put some tin foil down. I'm gonna drop. Actually, I could drop the heat on this now. We don't have anything on there. Um, and I'm gonna roast up some barb, some uh, garlic bread. Garlic bread. There you go. It. And we're gonna let this cook for a little bit. I'm gonna be checking the temp. So it's always check the temperature, not the time. You want to go by internal temperature of the meat. So. Give me a few minutes, let me get this cooked away, and then I'll see you back upstairs. 
Okay, we are back. I'm going to plate up how I want it done, how I'm making it for myself and the family. We're using some power greens. Then what I'm doing here is a slice of the garlic bread that I put on the barbecue. I saw these tomatoes at the market today, <clears throat> so I decided to make a tomato salad with a four color tomato. They look delicious. So what I'm going to do, I made a basic tomato salad and we're going to put that just like that. And then I'm going to take one of the fillets just like that and there we go folks absolutely delicious and if you can see right there is where I injected or infused the uh, the additional flavors mm -hmm. a nice red wine bon appetit if you like what you see here today, please like us, share us, subscribe to the station once again so I can keep it going. Uh, comments, leftovers by Lou at gmail.com. Until next time, be safe and good cooking.